Good morning. How are you? Where should I sit to be here? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Retain the Ukrainians there. On the country, what I see is that a great concern, for instance, when... Eight million refugees that left the country. It was the fastest growing displacement crisis in the last 20 years because we reached the peak of 8 million in a couple of months. If you look to Syria or if you look to Venezuela, you will see that the figures are very high. We have followed every week, every month, the evolution of the needs, the concrete needs of uh, the displaced population. And we have came to conclusions, the ones that I have mentioned before, 78% say that they are in need of cash, 30% they say they are in need of food. One of the requests that comes high in, their, in our survey is the need for health support, not just mental health, but also physical health. Seventy-eight percent of the displaced people need cash, because in fact, uh, s uh, from those uh, displaced persons by the war that uh, were employed before the twenty-fourth of February, sixty-four percent have lost their jobs, and uh, and considering the six point nine million displaced people, almost half have no source of income. So cash for us, cash grants, cash support, multi-purpose cash to support them with food, with clothes, but also with heating. It's not fair, but this is When it comes to the risks, yes, uh, the risk of uh, uh, trafficking human beings and exploitation, whether labor exploitation or sexual uh, abuse and exploitation, is there and is very high because we are talking about a particularly vulnerable group of persons. What do you think about this process that Russia calls filtration with the Libyan forming? A lot depends on the evolution of the military situation, as you can imagine. But uh, what we see is that it is a slowdown of departures from Ukraine, people, a slowdown of people leaving Ukraine. And we see a spontaneous uh, movement of return return uh, from uh, other oblasts to the oblasts of, of origin, so intern, internal displacement. And we see also returns, uh, spontaneous returns from European countries back to Ukraine. 